got these watercolors down. Let's relax. Let's zone out life. I heard oranges and pinks and reds. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and just do a little sketchy poo. And um, relax. Enjoy. Lovely. Oh, lately my life has been extra. Yeah, there's no fun in that. I know. So I'm going to go ahead. That last journal I painted. I mean, why not? But I'm just going to enlarge it. Just out of the pool. It's so hot in Australia. Tracy, we need to get out of winter. Okay. Uh, oops, I guess that's how big it's going to be. People are always asking, how do you know what you're going to draw? I don't. Just how I'm feeling. But I just shared a painting with you, so why not just enlarge it and talk about it? I mean, that's easy, right? Oh, I don't know what that is. This is my favorite set of pens. Um, uh, is it anybody's first time joining me? And I'm sorry, when I start a, a drawing and a painting, I, oh, I don't know what that is. Is she big? Um, just bear with me. Super easy. This is, oh, I don't know why that is so large, but that's okay. I'm just going to repeat the same flower and just weave it in and out. Don't, don't be afraid if it hits the uglies. My whole teen years uh, were about hitting the uglies. Okay. But if it's your first time here, I, I would love to know. First time working in watercolors. Oh, hello, Vanessa Mendez, or Mendez Vanessa. Hello. Oh, I love it. I always feel like I need to welcome if it's your first time watching. I had somebody say, I want to join you, but I thought it was going to cost us money on Wednesday. I'm like, no, I'm just here. I'm just here. There we go. Watching from where? Oh, Patricia, first live. Welcome. So don't worry, just settle in. Uh, I encourage everybody to draw with me. Sometimes I go a little fast because... Um, I fell asleep doing this last night. It was so relaxing. I had a very, I had a very, uh, what's the word? On point day. Like where I had to be on for the full day. I don't know. If that, that might not be the way I'm describing it. Like there was a lot going on in my little world that required my, I don't know, brain. Oh, you know what I should have done? Yeah. Should have made this in like a shape of a heart or something. Anyway, welcome everybody. I love that. You tell me something about you, I'll tell you something about me. Um, Monday night, oh, I, I don't know if anybody locally, I don't know if anybody locally is watching me. I'm, I'm not going to check my own Facebook page, but I, I have a son. Hi, Vicki. Here's the thing. I expressed an interest. You know, just put some random. You got to sometimes just throw some random petals in there. I expressed the interest of singing. And now I got a friend who we're going to play. We're going to sing. And I couldn't be more excited. Isn't that crazy? You know what I just decided on this? I'm going to have a little fun. I feel like right now it's like a moment for you all to be in my brain where it's just scattered and going a mile a minute. But that's really how my life is. So deal. 
that's why last night I decided to just start drawing and turn the brain off. And I literally turned it so far off, I fell asleep and woke up with my art journal in my lap. Uh, Hitomi just got here, everybody. Uh, welcome, Hitomi. I do uh, also go online and art journaling for beginners. So if you're over there, shout out a little hello to me. I love it. I mean, how hard is this? Not hard, right? Just keep, we're just piling them up. Then you're putting some random petals in here. See, you don't even need to worry. They don't even need to go anywhere. You're just filling up the spots, okay? Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know where that's going. Oh, my God. There are not enough hours in the day. Um, somebody today offered me the most perfect piece, of like a furniture piece to refurbish. I had to say no because I have too much stuff, and I just don't want, like, when stuff starts backing up on me or I go, yeah, I can paint it, and I leave it. It gets really stressful for me, so I uh, intimidate. So I usually only now take on projects and um, when I'm hired or, you know, when I have a need or something comes up. Okay, we're done. We're done with that part. And um, so I, I try not, but I really wanted the table and the chairs. Like it took everything in my being not to accept. Oh, I want watercolor for this. It took everything not to accept. Um, uh the furniture i was so bummed but i didn't i was like not gonna happen anyway um barbara would like to barbara the if for tonight's journal uh support at your artful journey.com she must like it okay hey I, I wonder what barbara barbara what's your favorite colors let's let's do that Do you have favorite colors or just want a rainbow of colors? You want them in the blues? I don't want to paint it in blue again because I'm having a hard time balancing social media posts. Oh, yeah. Learning how to, oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, uh oh. Sorry. <laughs> when asked, I think you didn't put your art journal page on my wall at work. Okay. Yeah, what's your favorite colors? Let's start. Oh, oh, I hope this water is clean. It's dirty. Guys, uh, I'll be right back. Be right back. My water is dirty. You want to come in? Okay, go lay down. Go lay down. Sorry about that, but if I'm painting somebody's. Okay, did Barbara answer? Her? Oh, there's gold in there. That's okay. Uh, hi, I'm new from New York. Found you today. Watched one video already. Commented, love your art. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's sweet. Um, how is my dog doing? She is doing great. Thank you for asking. She she is doing great. She's gonna I love you. Okay. Thank you for asking. All right, come on. Come on. All right. Uh did Barbara comment on her favorite colors? Okay. Oh, turquoise, pink, and lavender. Thank you. Thank you. Turquoise, pink, and lavender. That's gonna make my life so much easier. 
Okay, I'm gonna need both of these. And I love all those colors. Here we go. Okay. I mean, we might as well. Thank you guys for asking about my dog. She ingested something she shouldn't have and scared the Jesus out of me and spent 24 hours in a... All right. Oh, there's not much turquoise to be had here. All right, that's okay. So we'll go ahead. Uh, there was no passing what she ingested. There was no... Nope. Uh, she... Go out there. Come here. Let me just get this bed. Come on, lay down. All right. Okay, I love the question. Do you like, okay, uh, by the way, I'm doing a little wet on wet hair. Do I like to paint with watercolors or acrylics? Mm, I come from the world of mixed media. Oh, you guys are asking some great questions today. Uh, so I would say that was, uh, I actually worked for Deco Art. You guys are asking some awesome questions today. Uh, but I love the versatility of watercolors and I love, I love, uh, I love them both. Like at picking a favorite child. I'm kidding. They're all my favorite. Um, uh, my favorite child is the one that doesn't need anything at the moment. Uh oh, I guess that one's going to be teal too. So. That's a great question. I just do. Do I frame any of these? You mentioned you don't like gel pens. Wondering how they do under glass frames. Uh, prayers for my dog. Thank you. Um, so uh, you can use gel pens. I seal and protect most of my artwork. Yes, I do frame my artwork. Not a lot of it. This right here would be more what I consider just practice and play. I'm really just practicing and playing right now. So um that is my mindset with this, but I do murals, I do paint other things, shoes, wine glasses, uh, I canvases, wood, you name it, I do all of that. So I do seal my artwork typically if it's going in a frame, except for like watercolors, if you're going to protect it in glass and all that good stuff. Thank you for the questions. Keep going. I like walks on the beach. How did you learn to, uh, I learned to watercolor, I'm totally self-taught. Teal, could somebody, lavender? What were the three colors? Okay, let's just tone my biz down right now and just go with the, what I'm doing. Um, I am self-taught. I have a degree. Who wants to name? Oh, this, this, I want this purple. Who wants to name? Who knows what my degrees are in? Who knows me and knows that I do have degrees? Hi, Jane. I love these questions. Y'all are making me feel like I got something to talk about today. Uh-oh. Good news is when teal and... I'm just going to keep this cloth handy. Uh, also, I tend to be a little bit more like I just... Thank you, Maria. She's got it. Ding, ding, ding. I got a second one. It's not engineering, although I wish it was. Uh, building construction management in finance. You know why I added finance? Because I did not want to be. I took an internship at a roofing company, and I did not want to ever have to stand on another roof again because I'm afraid of heights, and I don't want that. Oh, what's your best takeaway? Keep with these questions. We're just going to keep going. You guys are amazing. What is my, uh, what is the best takeaway or advice for learning watercolors? Uh, my best advice is let it go. Uh, a lot of people say they don't like watercolors because they, they can't, you saw that, you can't control it. Don't try to control it. Uh, I learned long ago that if God intended you to control stuff, he would have just given you a map, a roadmap for your life. And uh, I have OCD, and obviously I have organizational issues by the paints that are behind me and all that good stuff. Uh, let it go. The paints want to go together. Let them go together. You're you're going to be fine. So that's that's the takeaway. 
Yeah, I'm just pre-wetting each petal as I go along. There's my takeaway. Don't, oh, and if the other thing, have a towel next to you right here in my hand. Dry that towel off and you can pull all the color away if you want. You have more control over watercolors than you think. Now, I do come from the world of acrylics, so I know how acrylics work, but I can get acrylics to work like watercolors. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think it's learned. It, I think I learned to relax a little bit more. Boy, I made quite the large painting, didn't I? Oh, well. Y'all just have to hang out with me for a little bit. Um, Barbara, I hope. Oh, you guys, I'll hide that. There you go. Let me just do this so you don't have to stare at my ugly mug. All right, there you go. I come from the land of overthinkers. Um, I don't know what this color is, but she is going to go in there somewhere. Oh, yeah, no, I don't like that color. That's okay. We'll just water it down and say it was supposed to be there. Sorry, Barbara. I thought that color was going to turn out a little prettier. But see, watch. Watercolors go where water is. So watch what's going to happen. So those two are going to bleed together. Not the end of the world. Because guess what I'm going to do anyway? Because I wasn't overly fond of that color. Is I'm going to add pink in there to make that color more appealing to me. So if those go together, fine by me. All right. I'm going to sit down and relax with everybody. Now, what happens when I do something that I don't like, I go ahead and do it over and over and over again. And then what I'm going to teach you all in this lesson today is let her go. You know why? It's going to make you feel better. You know, my kids call me. Um, oh, shoot. Speaking of my kids, one of them called me and I forgot to call them back. Um, I'm always telling them when they're telling me about organizing and controlling and school and this, and I'm always telling them, you just really don't have control over what you think you do. Like I always, you know, tell my kids, you can't control your schedule. You can't control time. So a little bit of that is just makes me feel better that they know that it just can't. Okay. So this might be a little bit softer than I normally do, but that'll be good. So then I'm just going to go in, I'm dabbing my brush. I'm just looking. And I'm, for the reason of me just saying I don't have control over where the water goes, I happen to be using three colors that actually do really well mixing together. So it's not a big deal. Just trying to mix it up a little bit. Uh, my favorite watercolor. Uh, uh, that's a that's a touchy. Uh, are we talking about uh, price point? My favorite watercolors. The Prima watercolors that I'm using right now, I carry in my shop. I love them. I think they're affordable. I think the color selection is amazing. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some other colors in here. Um, but I, I'm a huge lover of Daniel Smith and Sennelier. Those are some more expensive ones that I like. So, uh, but I do tend to use things that are affordable and I'm very price conscious, especially when uh, I will tell you I have least favorite ones that come from a box store, rhymes with Schmeichel's. Uh, if they're on the end cap and they're really chalky, they will crack. And that is not fun. I'm just in the mood to just kind of go in now and just 
I know this is going to like totally scare Barbara, but I don't mind a little scary. Yeah, I would say Daniel Smith to me is like the Cadillac of watercolors, but not everybody has a Daniel Smith budget, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we're just going to do this now. You guys are just killing it in the questions today, and I am loving it. Uh, okay. Uh, do you go soft or oil pastels? Do you go soft or use? I'm not sure if I'm under. I've used oil pastels. I do like them. But I'm not sure if that was the question. Did I read it wrong? I apologize if I'm. I don't work in oil paints. I'm just letting everything go, by the way. I don't work in oil paints. It's not, uh, I haven't, I, I haven't even dabbled. I tend to get headaches. Uh, this sounds crazy, but I do tend to get headaches with very, oh, do you use them? Yes. Totally agree. I used to work at, oh yeah. Hey, tell me. Okay. She agrees with me. Uh, she knows what I'm talking about. There are certain that I just say, please avoid because you're going to, it's going to go on super chalky. You're going to be like, oh my goodness, this isn't giving me the same result. That Tracy is, it, that's like the one thing I've said all along. Yeah. And I try to be really honest with people when it comes to like supplies so that they don't get frustrated, if that makes sense. Getting frustrated is not where I want you to start out. See that pink? Now I have an original book I did with those watercolors one time. And when I went back in, the paint actually cracked right off. And I was like, ooh, that that's why I, but I'm not gonna like, you know, lambaste somebody for using something. It's just very hard to get. And don't worry, by the way, if you feel like, oh, this is just running together. I mean, I'm a little worried, but eh. Uh, what other colors? No, I'm just kind of using the same thing. Just kind of go in here and keep going. Keep going. I would like this to feel like spring because I'm so over winter. I got the frogs coming back. I'm done. If you've never joined me before, and this is scaring you that now I'm just like in here and I made this beautiful sketch and then I just decided to go crazy on it. It's okay. I get it. Because then I'm going to further scare you. What's my favorite watercolor paper? 100% cotton. And it's the uh, journals that I sell. I'm spraying this. Okay, those are my favorite. Those are my, that's my favorite. 100% cotton. This is not 100% cotton. It just works a little bit differently. I know. I'm spraying this. I just want all of the colors to play together. And I don't feel like covering everything. Ooh, I hope I ran my fingers along the tape. Don't worry, Barbara. I got you, girl. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go around and just make sure that I got everything. Don't worry about the centers of the flowers. I'm going to change those. Oh, she beautiful.
I like to keep a little towel around, but I don't have one, but this will work. See all that extra water? Don't worry. Just soak it up. Soak her up. Just put it along there. There we go. And it'll dry. Just pond it up a little bit. There we go. I just don't like to. I'm just laying this along here. See it soaking it all up. That way I don't need to. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm happy. I just wanted it to be a little relaxed. Plus I realized we were going to be here all night long if I just kept painting them individually. Okay. I'm just going to soak up this and then I'm going to air dry it. This is what I always get when I tell people tell me, like, I'm so nervous that the colors went together. Oh my God, let them go. Dry your brush off, soak it up if you got too much. See? Dry your brush off, soak it up. There we go. We're good. Soak it up, by the time. I got dark really quickly around here. I need to push that light over here. There we go. Oh, sorry, Penny. Well, this was Barbara's color. She told me like pink, teal. And lavender, I just threw. I just went with it. So I was asked, can you do oil cocktails? So in your artful journey, so I do free demos every Wednesday. Uh, I, it, it has to be kind of quick, dries quick. Um, I do have oil pastels, but stuff like that. I do a lot of stuff with my membership group where we deep dive into things. Uh, it's very difficult for me in a free demo to pull out all of the tools from my tool belt. And um, that's what I pretty much do in your artful journey. We do various projects using techniques, different tools. Now, how many of you? get to the ugly stage in your art and say, I'm done. Like, this is it. I'm done. It didn't do what I wanted to do. I thought it was going to turn like this. And you just stop. This is what I tell you to keep on a moving. Because if I would have stopped at my ugly stage, which was anywhere between 10 and 15, that would not have been good. I wouldn't have gotten to see the good parts. I like to see things through and have a good time. That's really what I'm here for. That's why I try to answer the question. What is my favorite? What's more forgiving? You know, watercolors are fun, but dang it, I love what I can manipulate in acrylics, man. I'm trying to debate the centers of these. Originally, I had like a yellow, but now I'm thinking, I'm thinking different. I like to run this. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, you dropped. Now I'm thinking between. Oh, now I'm, I know. I think I know what I'm thinking. I this color over here. Let me just test it. Yeah. Let me just see. Yeah. Yeah. And I can do a little bit of. Oh, you know what? We might as well just do a couple of different. Okay. Oh, that looks awfully the same color. Just going to go in. Oh, the gold would have looked pretty. Yeah, I'm just going to do this a minute. 
I'm doing the orange too. How many of you get obsessed with the line? Uh oh, uh oh. Please don't put your sleeve in your artwork. Please, please, please. Get obsessed with staying in the lines. That's another thing I do not do. Okay. Uh, lines schmines. Okay. Uh, mm, 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 mm. All done. Everyone? Everyone. Nope. This one. Okay. We'll be able to put our watercolors away in a minute. Pretty much want to put the watercolors away and now we dig in to the details. Drying the back, hadn't thought of that. Oh, why am I drying the back? Uh, it actually will bend, uh, fill the fibers. What happens when you are painting is the fibers get filled and then they curl in. So I just always take a little bit to the back. What kind of dryer? This is a heat gun. You can use a hair dryer. If you go to my resources page, I have various heat guns listed. It speeds things up. Keep it moving. Don't concentrate the heat and don't burn your house down. A couple of recommendations that I have for everybody. I have somebody coming to watch stay at my house for the weekend. And I said there were no boys, no booze, and no burning down my house. That was my, she just said, can I go into your studio? I said, you absolutely can. I'm going to leave some stuff out for her. And I told her how to use my bathtub. So we got about, I, listen, I usually am done by 6.30, but I'm not rushing this. So I would move this. Here we go. Oh, this guy needs a little, I think, zhuzhing, but I'm not going to go crazy. There's not much there. Okay. Here we go. Let's put these. Yeah, I hope I'm going to have propane. Otherwise, that poor girl is going to freeze or took us off because she a little one. All right. I'm going to up my fun. All right. Here we go. This one's 0.9. Oh, let's have some fun. Now, this is where I'm going to define the space between these flowers because we just did a general drawing. We didn't really. Then I'll discover where I missed any middles. Oh, I feel like maybe there's a middle right there, but I don't know. So let's just come back to it because we're going to do some sketching. I just got lost in the talking today, didn't I? Oh, there was another middle down here. Mm -mm -mm, I lied. I said put away those watercolors. Now we're going to go around. We're going to scribble in each of these centers. Just scribble, 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 scribble. Just a little one. Scribble, 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 scribble. 
you're outlining and you're scribbling. You're outlining and you're scribbling. How can't you feel relaxed just doing that? Oh, I love Anne. She pops back in as Anne. See, I never know what that woman's doing. Thank you. <laughs> now she's showing off. See, if you just give up on the painting and you don't see it through, I feel like I missed that middle and I feel that I missed that one middle, but. I'm just gonna work my way up the page. Wow. Barbara, I sure am just loving the process of this. Um, sometimes when I'm um, painting, I usually paint to music, by the way. And some of you have said thank you for the music I've turned them onto. Um, I will find that the pen will actually move to the music, to the beat of the music. So if that ever interests you, uh, I should make a playlist, but I don't know how to do that. I know my kids told me, um, how to do it once, but now my, my latest one is, uh, Lucy Thomas. And so I like to just let the, um, I like the beat of the music. Dance to the music. Wow. Nothing has to be exact. These are just a cluster of flowers. They all look different. Now that's going to bug me because literally. Oh, you guys like this. Okay, thank you. Uh, now at this point, it's all about Barbara because she got to like. Uh, where'd that go? Okay. I think there were only two, right? Did we only have two? Okay. Mm. Don't take your pen, do the wet paint. Doesn't like it. I really weirdly feel something. What color do I have in here? Hold on, I'm looking. I want to say it's this color, but I'm debating. Hold on. I'm going to do something kooky. I'm sorry. If I'm going over, it's because somebody bought this painting and I want it to be special for them. And I want to make sure it's something I'm proud of. 
so. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Just give me a minute, please. I know. I know I said put your watercolors away. Oh. I can't do something that is not genuine and I'm not loving it. And I love this, but I felt like there is some space in here that I could just go in and bring these flowers out. And one way to do that is darken up the background. And I was between the purple color and the blue color, and I could do both. I could just mesh them together. But I'm gonna, am I gonna mesh them together or am I just gonna keep going with the? You just get in bonus drawing time because I couldn't stop myself. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I mixed a little bit of the purple in and just darkened her up. All right. So now I'm just going in. What size brush is this? It's amazing. Size two? Oh my God. It's such an amazing little brush. It's just getting right where I need to be. Uh, that's not good. Yep. Okay. What am I doing? I'm filling all the little negative space. Is it making a difference to you? Or am I just... I got it. I'm actually taking the two and I'm mixing them. So we're getting a combo of colors here. But this paintbrush is doing an amazing job. Uh... Barbara, are you okay with what I'm doing? She's like, yeah. Oops. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Mm-hmm. Doggy, you're going to have to wait a minute. I'm busy. I'm liking a little more of the purple in there. Oh, she's fine with it. Okay, I can keep going. Otherwise, we were in trouble because I'd have to start all over again, and you'll just have to all stay, and we just have to paint again. I don't know what... Okay, no. Okay, wait. That goes underneath there. That go, well, I'm just going to fill that one in. See, I just decide where it goes. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this whole weekend off with no painting. So it'll be interesting to see what comes of my mind. Because Actually, no, I am going to take my art supplies. I'm going to be staying on the uh, overlooking. I'll, I'll go live and share. How about that? Yeah, I'm going to have two days. I'm... Okay. Are we good? Are we good? I just feel so strong about, like, especially if nobody bought this, I'd be like, okay, we're done. But I want to make sure that somebody buys it. Um, oh, you guys, that's sweet. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not going to. Uh-oh, I went six minutes over. Excuse me for being six minutes late. I think it's just so important that even though these in your art journal are just an expression of practice, but now this is a commission piece. See, this just switched gears for me. 
But I think you should always use your art journal as a space to get creative and not worry about the outcome. Uh, I think that takes a lot of um, self-discipline to say, I can just have fun versus this has got every piece has to turn out like a masterpiece. I mean, that's just not true. <laughs> I can tell you that because lately I've had some real humdingers. I can't believe I just said the word humdingers. Okay. When I say humdingers, I was like, oh. Penny, you wanted to be in here, sister. How many of you walk into it and realize that you think every piece, every piece has to be your next masterpiece? That is something I switched a long time ago and I let myself just play. Uh, Polly said I have a hard time scribbling. I think it's fun to just give yourself time to play. Oh. <sighs> Okay, I feel like a splatter is waiting to come in here and I'm just waiting for Barbara to have like major angst over the, what is going on over here? I gotta just, yeah, Barbara, are we good so far? She's like, I'd like a refund and I haven't even paid for the bank yet. You just start to see it come alive. Mother Nature works in mysterious ways. Okay. Okay. I pretty much did this whole thing with like one pen or two pen sizes and two paintbrush sizes. So you probably... Okay. Hmm. Penny, oh, I know what I'm doing. Okay, now I changed my mind. Penny, are you, do you want to leave? Because you're driving me nutty. Okay, go ahead. Go. Scoot, scoot. Penny, scoot, scoot. Okay. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I found it. Okay. What a fun evening. It's beautiful. Just, oh, Gally. Thank you. Okay. I just changed my mind. I am taking this archival ink. This is called Dusty Concord. Just like the grape. Because I feel like we really leaned into the, to the purples. I'm just going to come in. And then we're going to take the tape off. Barbara, this was a total pleasure. She's probably changing her email address right now saying, oh, my God. So my good friend Michael and I, uh, we were talking last Monday night. We were listening to music, and we're both very self-deprecating, and he's very talented. He said, you're not allowed to put yourself down. And we, we both were keeping track, like, when we made jokes about ourselves. Hey. Yeah, we leaned into the purple. Okay, that made me feel better because I do love how this came to life. Okay, now we're going to say a little prayer that the paper. Uh, by the way, I do give the entire supply list. I held out the brushes I use. That's a six round. This is a two round. I didn't use any of those. I didn't use any of that. I use Terrain and the Classics, some painter's tape. And um, a five eighth inch dynasty brush. All of this stuff was available, is available, and that was is available on my website as far as I know. Uh, no black speckles. I'm not thinking it. Barbara, would you like this splattered or not? Barbara, you get to make the call. It's up to you, my dear. I'm gonna put it all in her. I would do black. If I were going to splatter this, by the way, I'm going to 
actually take the purple because I leaned into that a little bit more. I would take that and splatter that, but I'm going to give her, nope, she says no. Thank you. See? He said no. Okay. Heat up the tape. Say a little prayer for me. La -la -la, la -la -la. Uh, uh. You know what I'm going to do, Barbara? Because I love to add that last additional thing that makes my head spin. Come off, come off, wherever you are. Okay, hold on. Because I can't be quite done. Oh, I hope I didn't splatter your book. Oh, that's okay. Oh, sorry, Barbara. I got a little bit right here. Barbara, do you need a refund? right there i'm sorry i got a little purple paint right there you'll be fine right it's a book it's an art journal um i am going to take i am loving the idea of the gold okay she said no problem okay i i got a little i, I you guys are the gold i agree with the gold i have to agree with Yeah, I just, it just needs a little, I would have like done glitter, but I just am not a glitter. Oh, what the heck, y'all, I didn't, y'all, what, what was this? We all, you're all just going to let me go without, okay, you're all just going to let me go and not notice that I ignored one hole. Okay, that's fine. Thanks for the quality control. Oh, man. There's nothing wrong with coming in and zhuzhing her up. Yes. Just a hint. Just a little schnizzle. I, I, I like gold. And I like that it's popping my flowers. Okay. Ba -da 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 da 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 I will put this on the supply list as well. A little schnizzle of gold. I don't think schnizzle is a word, but we're going to go with it. Okay. I just loved how nobody even mentioned. I completely forget. Okay. I'll hold this up so it reflects the light. Okay. Are you happy now? I'm happy now. She a poppin'. Okay, put that there. Did I forget me before I rinse off my brush? I don't think I did. Ready? See, it, it, it just needed a little judge. All right. Oh. Today, my dad asked me for my autograph, and I said, you know what, Dad? I actually have an autograph. It's called T.Y.Z. Okay. Oh, what was this? Where did I get this? Where did that come from? All right. So we're done. I need to let this dry. Uh, what do you think? Oh, what do you think? Barbara, it's for you.